what's going on guys it's Boz here and welcome back I'm going to do another shisha review for you guys today we are going to be reviewing Tangier's Noir Guanabana I'm pretty sure that's how you say it uh, I don't know if that's actually correct but that's how I say it it might be different I'm not sure but Guanabana um, this flavor is very strange uh, at first I thought it was um, a guava fruit and a banana flavor and I thought they just called it guanabana but after researching I found out that it is it is an actual fruit itself it's it's really weird looking it kinda looks like a weird avocado that has like spikes on it I don't know it's weird um, I'll put a picture of it on the screen for you guys so you guys can see it it's really really strange looking and uh, it it tastes weird but it tastes good at the same time it's a fruit it's it's a type of fruit I don't know I'm I think it's grown in Mexico or some something like that, um, but it's it's very good. And um, here, I'll show you guys the box right here. Guanabana. Um, so I mean, I've had I've had this for a long time, and I've been meaning to review it, and I'm close to running out. So I thought this would be the perfect time to tell you guys about it. Um, it smells like it kind of smells like candy in a way. I don't know what kind of candy it tastes like. Or it uh, smells like my bad. Uh, you can smell that it's very it's fruity, uh, but it also smells like it's kind of candy-ish. But whenever you smoke it, it doesn't taste like candy. It tastes somewhat fruity. I can't stop smelling it because it smells really good. Um, you can pick this up pretty much anywhere. Uh, you get it, of course, five stars where I get all my stuff from because that's my favorite place in the world. It's like it's like whenever you open the door. To, or whenever I open the door to five star, it's like, oh, I was like the worst. It was the worst thing I could have ever done in my life. Um, but it's a good flavor. Again, it tastes very, very weird. It's nothing like I've ever smoked before. This, I don't think there's any other flavor out there or um, tobacco maker that makes something like this. It's very strange. So I'll take a couple pulls for you guys. And then uh, we'll talk about it some more. Oh, I'm using my new KM Cafe. If you haven't seen that video, uh, there will be an annotation at, uh, on your screen at the end of this video. If you guys want to go check out my KM Cafe review slash whatever review, I guess. Whatever. They told me I, be I could become anything, so I became a fog machine. You know who you are. I said that just for you, and you know who e you know exactly who you are. Um, so the flavor is it's not super intense where it's gonna be like, oh my gosh, what the hell is that? It's not it's not overpowering. It's not super intense, but it's got a nice fruity, calm taste to it, and. That's what I like about Tangiers is that a lot of their flavors are very calm. They're not super in your face, um, but you can also taste them very well, and it's very good, and, and you would very you would very much enjoy it. Um, flavor strength, so so probably the flavor strength would probably be like a like like a seven seven point five maybe. It, it's it's like I said, it's not super in your face, so it's about a seven point five. Um, overall, the taste is is really good. Again, it's 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 one of those flavors that you could just sit back, relax, and just smoke and just have like a ah like one of those things. Um, the smell is good. Everything about this flavor is good. So by overall. The overall rating that I'm gonna give uh, give it is probably like an eight, um, mainly because it's noir and noir is a little bit more difficult to work with, especially because I smoke with a Lotus. Um, noir is a little bit more of a pain in the ass to work with a Lotus. You're actually really not supposed to smoke it or smoke Tangier's noir with a Lotus, but I make it work. I don't know how. Uh, I always have like friends that are like I don't know how you smoke noir with a lotus or like whenever I would used to I used to take shisha out after it was burnt and I used to use the same foil 
and they're like, how do you refoil? Like that doesn't make any sense. So I do like weird things that I, I, I'm able to do weird things. So, um, I highly recommend this flavor to you guys. If you went, if you want like a, a relaxing, fruity, not in your face flavor, especially cause it's noir. Um, but if you're not used to using a Lotus on noir, I highly recommend that you foil it because I don't know, it's some people just can't handle, you know, either how strong it can get with the Lotus or anything like that. But all in all, it's a good flavor. Highly recommend it. So if you guys want to pick this up, you can get it from 5 or you can go to the store if you're close. Or I'm pretty sure you can get it from, I don't know, there's there's other places that sell Tangiers. But I always, always, always recommend 5 Star because they are the nicest people in the world. And uh, they always have great deals. And I don't know, I just, I just love them. They're great. So I'm going to take a couple more pulls for you guys. 8 out of 10 stuff like that and uh, there'll be an annotation on your screen at the end of this video to check out the KM video and there will also be an annotation on your screen at the end of the video for a tasty peach or uh, it's Tangier's Burkuk Tasty Peach review that one's pretty good so go check that out if you guys want to um, also I did uh, actually never mind forget that I'm stupid I haven't done that yet <laughs> Also, if you guys are not following me on Twitter, um, be sure to follow me. There will be an annotation on your screen at the end of the video. And I will also put a link in the description to my Twitter if you guys want to follow me. That is the best way to get in contact with me. If you ever have any questions about hookah stuff or just you just want to say, Hey, what's going on, boss? I'm having a great day. I'll be like, yeah, you're awesome. Um, so that's it for me, guys. I'm going to take a couple more pulls, and that will be it. Get out of here, Smoke. I'm trying to talk to the people here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, maybe even a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, again, you can hit me up on Twitter or you can ask them in the comment section below. And I will make sure that I answer them in the next video. Also, if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out and I would very much appreciate it. And I uh, hope to see your sexy faces in the comment section. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Boz. I will see all your sexy ass faces later.